Hello, welcome to a quick demonstration of Elastic, high quality pitch shifting, time stretching, looping Max MSP object. It's essentially like the uh, groove object you get with Max. Um, load a sample into the buffer, hit start loop. But with Elastic, uh, you get two independent controls speed and pitch. You get the idea. I'll just show you how quick it is to start uh, making patches with Elastic. All we need a buffer. Load our sound into it. And an Elastic object. Pick that up. And send it to start loop. We want it to loop, loop one. And to control the pitch and the speed, just a couple of float objects. Things get a bit more interesting if we uh, have a couple of these. Call this one sample two. As you can hear, the two samples are at different tempos. It's uh, pretty easy to get them both playing at the same tempo. If we set this one to a speed of 1, normal speed, and this one to a, a ratio of the length of one sample divided by the length of the other sample, that will give us the speed of the second sample. We use a couple of info objects give us the milliseconds uh, in each buffer, and divide one by the other. Load our samples again. Uh, so this one's now at 0.916 and this one's at 1. Pretty simple. I'm sure you can do something more interesting, but you get the idea. Here's an example of uh, a simple sampler, um, just using Elastic to change the pitch without changing the speed of the sample. Um, it's obviously good for samples that have vibrato, and um, that's the thing. You've, as you're going up in pitch, you don't want the vibrato to speed up. Here we've just loaded a sample of a, a vibe, one note. If we hit start loop. <laughs> hear it. So all we're doing as we're playing a pitch here is taking the MIDI note value that we're playing, subtracting the original MIDI note value, um, which gives us the number of semitones that we we want to change by. Um, and here's just a, um, a small patch that turns semitones into ratios. So if we go down by 12 semitones, we want the ratio here, the pitch ratio, to be 0.5. And if we go up by 12, we want it to be 2. In this last example, um, just show you uh, an easy harmonizer. Um, so if we just load one sample into one buffer. Um, if we press play, we play it back through this elastic here, sound just goes through to the left channel.
here you can see the sound's also going through fiddle. And this is giving us the actual note, MIDI note number of the notes being played. So here we've got another elastic. Uh, and the note number is coming through and we're subtracting 9 from it. So we're going 9 semitones down from the original sound. Um, so we could just subtract 9 from that, go through a semitone to ratio to convert it into a ratio. Um, and this would then constantly be playing 9 semitones below the original sample. Um, what I've done is just a little bit of JavaScript, but we could do it in max, just to subtract 9 from this value, um, but then round it up to the nearest note in the scale that we fed it. Um, so that just keeps this harmony part within the same within the same scale as the original uh, or any other scale that you want to put in here. Um, so I just give that a listen if we turn that up. All I've done here is got another couple uh, exactly the same just change this to minus five, this one to three. So we've got four parts now, all running off one buffer. Of course you could use similar principle to create um, an auto-tune or a harmonizer. Uh, that changed based on chords, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, I hope that's given you an idea sort of thing that's possible with Elastic. Patches are very simple, but they're all included uh, with the object, uh, so you can hack them around, that sort of thing. Um, if you want any more information, have a look on the website, uh, elasticmax.co.uk. Um, there's also a forum or email us if you want more information. Thanks for watching.